bubble thrills to the spilling of blood. Hey, we have... What the fuck is this? We have something here. It's, it's, it's weird. It's a weird thing. It's a vile creation, guys. It's a vile creation. I don't know what the purpose of it is, but it's, it's here. What the hell is this shit? Yeah, this, this, this is always just kind of, it always gets me slightly baffled, you know, like those compositions just... <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, there, that's very weird. Yeah, I guess so. I don't really, like, I don't really have... I mean, he's running the move skill chance, debuff skill chance on the Arvalus. Does he have any debuffs? What the freaking hell is this? Debuff target, stress, this is like stress buff? Oh my god, what is this shit? So, is he just going really hard on the backline stress, I suppose? It is, it is, it is like hardcore backline stress comp. <clears throat> so, what makes work, so, cause he has like a lot of backline targeting, right? With the flagellant, with the mana arms. Why doesn't he use the freaking, oh, this is like, like bonus stress. It, it's so weird, why, why this, not the, not the crown of thorns. It just gives you so much more than that. So it's like backline focused stress damage, really. But I'm. Do we like this, guys? Do we do we actually like this? Oh, okay. We like this now because he dodges both of those. But do you guys like this comp? Like seriously, do you guys like this composition? Is it is a stress comp, like very strange stress comp, like he's just gonna stack that stuff. Hey there Martin Thibault, That's, you're a new person to the stream as well, right? I haven't seen you before that much. Lovely to see you, like lovely to see every single new face on the chat. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, if you'd like to keep up with the stream, remember to join the Discord, link is below in the description, right? Like what the freaking hell is this? Like seriously, what is this shit? Okay, we're just gonna stand a PD. And then like what does he do from there? I, I like the concept, yeah, I'm just I'm just very curious because I haven't it's probably like that might be interest interestingly enough. Like since I don't have the BH here, this is not oh I don't have the BH. Guys, if I had the BH in this composition, can you imagine how this would have gone with the bounty hunter here? Fuck, just pull the, the PD to the front and this is over for this guy. And now we have to struggle with this shit for a while. We'll just have to struggle with this for a while, because frankly I have no reliable way of killing the PD for now. So he also resisted the previous bleed, which which is gonna be quite troubling for me. He has no healing though. So unless he guards this or something, like PD is toast as Okay, he just doesn't guard this, okay. Such a terrible That's intriguing, so I just I just guess I just I I guess I just wait for the PD to go and then I'm just gonna I'm yeah, I'm just gonna melt his face off, right? With the finale, because he takes what? He takes eight damage. So if he activates the PD right now, he just loses him, right? He just loses the PD. So he has to be he has to be aware of this. He has to be aware of this. He is, he is, he is aware. Okay, he's aware indeed. So he's super aware. The most the awarest person in the world right now. So what we do, I guess, is we just kind of, I guess I just do some more harvest damage because he's, as I said, he's mostly, I feel, he's mostly um, focused on on stress damage. He has, he has to do this. Oh my god, get shit on, mate. Okay, good night, good night, good night. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, ciao. That's this guy is done. He's done. Like he lost his core character. Mm -hmm. This guy is donezo. This guy is just donezo. Oh my god, that was pretty. Like, ah, uh, you hate to see it. Now you hate to see it when when he could have guarded this. He just didn't see it coming, did he? He just didn't see it coming, I think. That's the problem with him. He just didn't see that uh, he was gonna die, and he died. And that's that's the end of the story of our Jeff Unleashed, I think. Because... 
You know, he is gonna have a permanent stun character here, or he's gonna be wasting the arbor. No, he just has this this stun kind of there right now. That was that was good. That was good. But we we got kind of lucky, guys. Let's face it, because there was quite there was quite a decent chance he was gonna actually hit the disorienting blast, and then we would have just dropped dead, right? So you just have to kind of consider that as well, always. It was kind of a lucky play as well. Takes 12 damage here. Let's help. Let's help this a bit. Gonna take... Oh, he resisted the bleed, but he took one damage there, so we're, he's gonna be at zero HP next turn. So I, I I really need to start stacking some damage on the on the flagellant though, that's the problem, right? Might want to start healing this as well, like a little bit at least. Although no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do the damage actually. I'm just gonna do the damage here. Um, yeah, he has mi this. This is very weird. Like, I, I guess he just wants accuracy because suppressing uh, suppressing fire is a hundred ten accuracy. I mean, I like the idea. Actually, I, I don't mind this. I don't think this is like total garbage. I've never seen this skill used before, though. Uh, it does inflict. So it it in increases the stress taken. Decreases the stress dealt, so overall it's a very, very solid skill, right? It's a pretty solid ability. Um, just... It's it's weird. It's, it's just weird, though. It's, it's just weird as fuck. Please stun, though. Please stun... Uh, stun, yes. Okay, Gucci. Yes, it's a bit weird, isn't it? It's, it's a bit strange of a, of a composition here from Jeff Unleashed. Question is like, what does he really do with this? What, what does he do from here? Where does where, where do we go with Jeff Unleashed from 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 this place? Uh, it's it's very I, I like it. It's kind of innovative, right? It's quite innovative indeed. So there's like no reason to be kind of shitting on this comp. I think it's it's pretty good. Though he has not removed the bleed. That's you have to kind of you have to kind of oh he resisted it again. Forty five bleed resistance. Come on. It's, it's not that much, it's not 100%, so you should be taking some of those bleeds to the face at least. Uh, I mean, we might just lose it though, like it's not not over until it's over, right guys? It's just kind of, it's not over until it's over. And we don't have like a reliable finisher here on our characters, really. Let's, let's face it, like the... Yeah, the Houndmaster can do something here and there, but that's about it. So maybe, okay, he takes 10 per turn, that's not enough. I like the idea of the Arbalest actually doing stress damage. I think it's quite quite fresh. Just, like you can actually do a lot of the uh, against stun compositions with this, right? Because you can do stress and you can also play against the stuns uh, quite efficiently at that. So that's that's very nice. I I do appreciate this. Definitely like something fresh, right? Def definitely something new and cool. Just I'm not sure how it actually plays out for him, right? I'm just not sure how it plays out for him in the end. I'm just gonna kind of do, you know, stack some more damage on these guys. Uh, this 14, this is 16 damage over time. He has 17 HP total. He has very little healing he can do as well. So he's gonna be at low HP next turn. And I can capitalize on that, obviously. And he has no access to healing anymore. Unless he starts healing with the Arbalest, right? So that's, that's a nice part too. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Hmm. So like a lot of bleeding, 22 bleeding damage, right? Maybe I should have just kind of left the Arbalest alone and just, no, no, I couldn't have done this because he is bandaged here, so he just has to. Uh, I don't see him pulling, no, 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 I don't think, I don't think he wins this, especially now that he passes as well. That's, that's gonna be super funky for him to win this now. A six, four, um. Vasily Bikov, welcome to Dungeon, my friend. Welcome, Dungeon. Thank you for following on Twitch. Lovely stuff, man. Guys, if you're new to the channel, if you are on Twitch indeed, remember that you can go to YouTube as well. There is a YouTube link in the description. I have about 200 videos on the Butcher Circus. So if you are Butcher Circus aficionados, I do invite you to join the community there. Uh, and in the very same manner, if you guys are on YouTube, there's also a Twitch link in my description in YouTube. You can go there, you can join the community there. We also have Discord server, and there is a link to Discord that, you know, I think Salencia is spamming right now. And it's also in the description. I didn't do this, he did this. 
Um, so anyway, there's quite a few. Uh, there are quite a few ways for you to kind of join the community here, as you uh, can probably hear right now. So I invite you to try them out. I, I just invite you to try them out. Oh, ha! Cool, cool night follower. So you sniped me. We have a stream sniper, guys. What do we do with stream snipers? What do we actually? What do we do with stream snipers? That's a legit question. I have no idea. I have no idea what we do with stream snipers. Though I actually like your composition. Oh no! I thought you were, you were my opponent. Okay, Jeff and Lee, Sorry, I just mixed things up. Mixed things up. So you, you just followed me on Twitch. Actually, sorry, mate. I'm I'm kind of sorry, sorry, sorry. You're mainly a lurker. That's okay, guys. If you are lurking, you know everything is appreciated. So. If you're lurking, if you're just here, you know, every now and then, it's absolutely fine. Uh, if you're not willing to chat as well, you know, cool by me, but... You know, the more the merrier at the same time. So if you do enjoy, you know, the community here, obviously a good idea to keep, uh, to, to start chatting, because our community here is amazing, and just kind of get to interact with me as well this way. I try to respond to every message I can, unless it gets super busy on the chat, right? So then uh, that's, that's just kind of a nice thing for us. If people are participating, indeed. Um, I need to heal this hard. Because if I don't, he can just crit me on the back row and kill me with the, uh, with the stress. So he damages me to zero, stresses me, I'm dead. I don't want that to happen. So we will kind of play the safe. Oh my god, how do you dodge this? Uh, we have low accuracy because of the affliction. So it's not that low, though, is it? Hey there, ruler of stones! Nice to see you back. Lovely to see people coming back. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we don't implore you. I think implore is too strong. We do ask you politely to be the part of the chat. Uh, the obviously no strings attached if you don't want to be doing this. I perfectly understand that. I've been, I, it's like, honestly guys, when I was watching streams myself, like when I've been actually lurking on a lot of streams for the past, I don't know how many years, so, I'm, I'm like a, a notorious lurker myself, actually. I'm a notorious lurker myself. Uh, you know, just letting you know. So, it's, there is nothing bad about lur lurking. If I would be an absolute hypocrite if I were to say it's, it's, it's a bad thing to lurk. So, yeah. I, I think it's, it's perfectly fine to lurk, guys. Jesus Christ. Vestal, you too! Et tu Vestal contra me. Why would you do this, Vestal? I thought we were friends. Oh, this freaking guy just won't drop dead either. Can you die? Please, pretty freaking, please just die. Oh, this is gonna be close now, because... I'm perfectly fine, Coco. Nice to see you back, man. Uh, Jester. So, how do, what do I think about Jester? Looks like he's one of the hardest characters. I think Jester is very swingy because of the fact that she, like, there are so many things that can counter his movement. Uh, like, you ha you need to be positioned two to use the finale, right? So you have to just play around the positioning hard. So it's very good to have Jester of a, in conjunction with a character that can move. So it's like if you have a shield breaker, if you have a uh, grave robber, you can just put the Jester in the right position. It's very, very strong. But overall, I feel Jester could, you know, it's. It, he's just very hard because of that, because he can get stunned by the Vest in position 3, he can get stunned by Crusader in position 2, he can get pushed out by the BH and the Abomination in 1 and 2 as well, so he, he can really control the Jester very well, so in order to get the finale off, you need to be very, very much in control of your opponent's um, CC. So either CC their CC characters before they can react, or you just wait for them to take their turns, and only then do you actually move the Jester forward, right? So Jester is very, very tricky. Also, you can't really see, like, when you go to the Jester, you can't see how much damage your finale is gonna do. I mean, yeah, you just can't, right? You, you just can't. So if you're base damage, you have to just calculate this in your head, take, take into, uh, into consideration your opponent's, uh, your opponent's protection, your own damage bonuses, the bellows, if there are, you know, there are any bellows stacks on you before you activate the Jester, because like, if you get to activate the Jester who's in position and you can use Finale but you just don't have the damage, this is like very, very, like, usually quite quite a poor situation for you overall. So just kind of, you know, keep that in mind, right? Keep that in mind. Because Jester is su surprisingly fucky to play. It's like, that's that's how it is. I think Jester is surprisingly fucky to play. That's that's just that's just the way to put it, I think. He's, he's weird. He's very weird. Uh, in terms of, like, how, how playing Jester goes, usually. 
So he's probably, I, I, I feel like Jester is one of the hardest characters you can use in DD. Hopefully we don't desync now, it's, it's a very decent game for us. But suck to desync at this point. Obviously okay, we're gonna lose the Jester for sure next turn. Just that we probably killed the Flagellant as well. Uh, Jester is probably one of the hardest ones. I think Grave Robber is pretty tricky. Like all those squishy characters are really, really hard to play, right? Also, uh, I would say Abomination might. Be oh my god, he just death blew me like that. That's 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 weird. I think Abomination is also quite tricky because he has like so many skills. Oh, we get the death blow in return. Cool, GG. So the thing about about the 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 transformation right is that you have like so many skills you have to kind of keep in mind and there are also like little gimmicks to the abomination so i mean like i think i think like the the abomination is very very tricky to play as well so abom and jester i think are the hardest to master uh i think shield breaker has a lot of gimmicks